Hello and welcome. This is Chris, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, and we've been looking at Capture the Flag, the Google Capture the Flag 2018. Um, I'm, again, a little behind uh, most other people who have been working on these projects. Um, and uh, uh, this security by obscurity uh, one it was annoying because I knew what needed to be done. And actually, I, I was able to solve it fairly quick, uh, but trying to automate it because I'm making scripts for each one of these that completely automate and I want to have them completely, you run the script and it automates it. So for example, for this one, this security through obscurity, I run this and after a few seconds, you get your flag right there. Okay. It took me forever to figure out how to, uh, to do that. So again, I want to do a shout out to Live Overflow and uh, John Hammond just because they have awesome channels. Check them out. Uh, they're the ones that brought this uh, uh, Capture Flag project to my attention and just because they were doing awesome videos. So let's go ahead and look at, so what was what was such a pain in the butt about this one? So you download uh, this attachment, which is a zip file. And, 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 and again, uh, read these, uh, what they say here, because they say things like John. They're, they're telling you to, to brute force it. They're recommending John the, the Ripper, which I didn't use in this particular case. Um, and uh, basically what you happen, and they also, you know, by name, security through obscurity, you know that this person tried to do something crazy to hide something rather than securing it. Um, so you download a zip file. And inside that zip file is another zip file, which is another zip file, and another zip file, another zip file, and it goes like 10 levels down. And then the zip files change from being zip files to being XZ files, which are another compression format. So uh, what I originally did was I tried using unzip. Now, the annoying part is unzip is very particular about extensions. It wants your file to be .zip. Instead of just looking at the header of the file, which is how, in my opinion, it should work. It should go, oh yeah, this is a zip file, even if it doesn't have that extension. Well, when you extract these files, like we have the original zip file, we extract the file inside it, it is a zip file, but it isn't .zip. So I, had, I was trying to write a script that extracted it, renamed it .zip, deleted the old one, it did that, and then I finally got that, but then again, I got 10 levels down, all of a sudden now it's their uh, XZ files. So now I had to figure out how to write my script to to check the file type and wait for, you know, if it's a zip file, do this. If it's an XZ file, it was this. And it was just becoming a pain in the button, and, and the files, it, it's like, it starts, it's like the alphabet. It says password alphabet, and it starts adding or removing letters as you extract stuff. Uh, so I started getting conflicts of files already existing. And then I was like, uh, let me try a different zip program. And I was like, uh, 7 zip. 7 zip will extract both XZ files and zip files. So I don't need to change the program I'm using. And luckily, it doesn't care what the extension is, so I don't have to worry about adding the extension. So let's go ahead and look at my script here real quick. Again, the first line here is just downloading uh, the original zip file, and I'm calling it pass1.zip. And then we do a while loop. And what it's going to do is it's going to extract each file. So uh, while one, what I do is I, I'm right here to get the name of the zip file because it's going to change for each one that's extracted. And I can't say, you know, you know, for each file in this because they, are, they don't exist yet. So I'm looping. And then I'm going to list all the files in the directory. Dash T is by time. So they're sorted by time. So the newest should be at the bottom. So then I'm saying tail N, meaning grab the last line, which is the name of the newest file in that directory, which in theory should be our latest extracted file. And we're putting that into a variable called F, okay? And then to extract a file with uh, 7-zip, you just use 7ZE and the file name. So what I did here was I added dash AOA to say overwrite. So if the file you're extracting already exists, overwrite it because I was getting too much of this file already exists. And then here the dash P is for a password, okay? Uh, and I'm giving it password test, which is not the password. So what's happening is it's going to extract every single one of these files and it gets the last one which actually has a password. So all the ones that don't have passwords, it just kind of ignores this and continues. We get to the last one which asks for a password. Well, before I put this, the script would run, 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 and then get to that last one and it would wait for me to enter a password and I just hit enter and then it would continue. Well, I realized if I give it the, the wrong password, it will continue. And the uh, pipe, pipe 
means the last command failed. So basically it's going to extract file, extract file, extract file, extract file, and then when it gets to the, to the last one, which is password protected, it's going to pass it the password of test, which is wrong. So it's going to go, up. Oh, it failed, so it will break out of this loop. Okay, And I also have it remove the previous file. So after it extracts the file, it removes it. But it continues extracting files until it pa passes the wrong password to that last one. Then it breaks out of the while loop and continues on. Now <clears throat> I want to get, I want to crack the password on that last file, which after being extracted this way, you get a file called uh, password.x, which is a zip file. So I installed using aptitude or apt-get or apt. Uh, I installed fcrackzip, which is for cracking zip files. And I assume with these beginner uh, uh, Google capture the flags, when they ask for a password, it's usually something pretty simple. So I just told it to start um, with, there's an extra space in here that's bothering me. Boom. Okay. Um, we're saying to go through, and I'm basically saying brute force this, you know, start at a, 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 B, A, 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 C, and we're saying start at four characters and go through up to eight characters. And hopefully it will go pretty fast because brute forcing takes a long time. Uh, and luckily it did. The, the password ended up being uh, ASDF, so it's, it's, you know, starts with an A, so it's caught pretty fast, only takes a couple seconds. Uh, so then I just grep for equal equal because that's the line that will have our password on it. And then I, I use awk to grab just the password. And we're putting all that. So after it cracks the password, it outputs just the password. And it puts into a variable called password. And then I say using password this, and then we extract it. But that happens so fast that you actually don't even really ever see this up on the screen. But it extracts it, clears the screen, and then it says your flag is, and it cats out the file that has your flag. And then it removes all our temporary you know files that we've created. So again, let's go ahead and run that. So that's all the 7-zip uh, the output. And theoretically, I could probably suppress that, but I figured why, you know. And as you can see, the last one, it says error because the password didn't match. And then we brute force it. And because it starts with an A and it's only four digits, and that's where I started with cracking it, um, it only takes like half a second for it to get to ASDF. So anyway, I didn't use John the Ripper. I used that F crack. And actually, I, I looked at the F crack uh, zip man page and in it I'm pretty sure if you go down to the bottom there is a could have sworn somewhere oh here um, <clears throat> here they're talking about uh, a program that says it's an underperformance FZC which seems to be a widely used fast password cracker claims to make uh, this many checks per second on my machine. Measures under plain DOS with memory manager. Uh, it's saying that this program, this F crack zip file, uh, zip program, has been written in C and not assembler, so, I, so naturally it is slower. So they're saying there's another program out there that might be faster. Um, I, I, don't, I didn't look into it. This one worked fine. Uh, you know, it's slightly slower, 12% slower. You know, uh, I don't know if this program. Uh, runs on anything but DOS, because did I did read somewhere just a second ago it said it was in DOS? Anyway, um, you might get faster results if you really need to crack a password, because brute forcing really takes forever. I went with brute forcing because the nature of this game was telling me that it was going to be a simple password. Anyway, again, <clears throat> go to uh, gitlab.com forward slash metalx1000 forward slash capital CTF. You can get all my scripts for the automation of this that you can pick through. Uh, again, check out uh, John uh, Hammond's YouTube channel and Live Overflow just because they're awesome. You know, They didn't ask me to give them a shout out, but I am because their channels are awesome. Uh, I hope you learned something new. Again, this one was just a headache. This one was simple to do by hand, but then automating it became a headache until I just switched the tools I was using. So, you know, if you're stuck in, in a rut, try changing what you're doing. Anyway, I thank you for watching. Again, visit filmsarchris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. Check me out on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Link in the description to that as well. Also on my page under support, I've got patreon.com or PayPal if you want to support me that way. If you can't, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, comment, all that stuff because it does help with the views a little bit. 
And I, of course, at my website, you can search through both my channels for um, search Arduino. Yeah, whatever. Um, there we go. Uh, the My second channel is mainly on hardware stuff, and my website searches through both channels. So you can learn a lot there. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.